Hello and welcome to Keep Coding. In this video, we are going to see about memoization, about what is memoization and uh, how it works under the hood with an example. Memoization is, is the technique of running a function only once for a given set of parameters. For example, if you are having a square function, if you have calculated uh, the square for 10 already, and if you need the square of 10 again, instead of recalculating it, you may want to use the already calculated value for performance reasons. So when you're having a complex calculation, you don't want to calculate that again and again. Now let's do some coding. So I have a plugin installed named uh, Coca.js. It is a scratch file just like code print. Uh, so you can write some JavaScript just in your VS code and see the output. Okay. So now here I'm going to define a function named square which will be returning me the square of the given parameter okay now i can say console.log square of 10 and it will return me 100 right here in the editor itself i don't have to go and run and see okay so now if i'm having a console.log cal Leading. So now, whenever this function is being called, this console dog will be printing right next to it. So if if I'm doing this twice, then I'll be seeing calculating ten twice, which means that this console log is running twice. Okay, so now this is what we are trying to avoid. We want to uh, calculate only once and use the same value again and again whenever I'm calling the same function again and again. Okay, but then if I'm passing a different parameter, then obviously it has to recalculate that uh, once till it is being called again. Uh, in this case, I'm calling 10 twice and then 11 twice, which means it, two times the function should run. Uh, one for 10 and one for 11 okay so how do we come up with such a function so for that we need to create a memoizing function so I'm creating a function named create square and this will not be taking any parameter for now so it will return a function which will take an input and it will print the output it will return the calculated value okay so now i'm just moving this console log, log into that so now we have the same but we have wrapped it within um, another function so which means i have to use it like this create square okay so it is giving the exact same output, but then we have refactored it, uh, moved into a function. So uh, we need a place to store the value, right? So whenever we are calculating, we need to store the value somewhere so that we can refetch the value. So for that, I'm going to use a map. Okay. And uh, whenever I'm calculating the value, I need to store the value in a map, which means const result equal to n into n and then return the result and after calculating each time I'll, i should be adding it to map the key will be my parameter to the function whichever i pass 10 or 11 or 12 and the value will be the result okay so but this is not enough so what i have to do is that if map dot has a given value if map doesn't have a given value then i need to calculate it otherwise i need to return the same value uh, that i've stored in map already now otherwise i need to just say Map dot get of n. So if you see, I have wrapped the actual calculation within an if condition, and the console dot log is within the 
if condition okay so now let's see so i am calculating the square for 10 so it says calculating 10 again if you see i am calculating it again uh, after the first call but i am seeing only one calculating here so i am calculating it again and again and again i am getting a value of 100 again and again but then the calculating happens only once okay so let me delete some so in case if i'm changing it to 11 okay so i am printing a constant here instead of that i need to print uh n okay now it it is being called twice one for 10 and one for 11 and if i have a 20 it will call that again but if i have a 11 after this it will not call that because it already knows the value uh, for 11 okay so this is a memoization function so you create a wrapper of the function around another function where you have a state uh, for storing all the values that is being calculated and then return the value uh, whenever uh, that is being requested by the function this is very useful when you are doing a lot of complex calculation and you don't want to recalculate again. Uh, this is what React is using under the hood on use memo and uh, react.memo and all. So they just check the props. If the props are same, then they will not re-render the component again and again and return the already rendered version. So now uh, let's see. So can we further simplify this uh, instead of creating a memoization function uh, for each function can we just refactor uh, it to be reusable for example i want to have square function like this and still reuse it so let's see now all i have to do is that uh, I'm, I'm changing it to a memoizer and I'll be needing a function here and what I'll do is that so I'll be running that function instead of doing this I'll be running that function here fn of n okay and that is supposed to be the result fn is not a function okay so i haven't given the function yet here okay so now i have a created a generic memoizer here so i can create any function i can us square or uh, add to and in this case i'll be just rename it to add two and now if you see it is adding two to all the all the values that i'm passing and still doing the memoization so that is how uh, you reuse it but then it is not completely reusable in the sense because uh, this number of parameters is being involved right so here it is a single parameter function and when you're having multiple parameters, you, you need to take that as arguments and then you do a deep compare and then uh, return the result. So the idea is not that uh, you have to create your own memoization function every time, but for you to understand how the memoization is working under the hood, uh, creating a reusable memoization function for all cases is quite complex and involves a lot of uh, algorithms. That's why we use a memoizer from Lodash or other libraries. Lodash is having a very good memoization function, which is generic in which you can just uh, pass your own function and it will do the memoization. Uh, so I hope this 
made you understand how the memoization is working under the hood how the react is doing the memoization under the hood and you can do that if if you have some complex calculation in your projects uh, if you like the video please like and subscribe i'll come up with more javascript videos like this thank you